guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a foodie video for you. I'm going to be sharing with you 70 recipes that you can make in your air fryer. And I've made two air fryer videos in the past, so if you haven't seen them, I'll link them in the description down below. Definitely check them out because there's some great ideas and meals in those videos. But what we've been doing is anytime we try out a new recipe in the air fryer and we really like it, we've been filming it. So in this video, there are seven really great ideas and I think you'll really like them. And we've had an air fryer for about a year now. I got it because my friend Kerry Welpdale really recommended it. She's also a YouTuber, so definitely check out her channel as well. But we stayed with her one weekend and she made us the most amazing potato wedges. And I was like, how did you make these? And she is like, Em, you need to get an air fryer. And I literally ordered it while I was sat there with her and we use it nearly every day. We really love it, especially for the kids' food. It's such a game changer. Um, so yeah, I hope you really like this video. I hope you like the recipes and if you are new to my channel then I would love you to consider subscribing because I'm here with new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I would love to have you. Um, with all that said, let's get into the seven air fryer recipes. Okay, so the first recipe that I wanted to share with you is air fryer coconut shrimp. These are so delicious and it's very easy to make. It takes just 12 minutes in your air fryer and then we served them with sweet chili sauce. So all you're gonna need for this is raw king prawns, some flour, some panko breadcrumbs, some coconut and an egg and then salt and pepper. So the method for this is very simple and you've probably seen me do this type of recipe before on this channel, but I will of course link the full recipe in the description down below. So if you want to know any measurements or like exactly how to do it, um, definitely check the description box, but you'll need three bowls. In the first one, you'll put flour with a bit of salt and pepper. In the second, you'll put a beaten egg. And then in the third, you put a quarter cup cup of panko breadcrumbs and then three quarters of a cup of the unsweetened coconut and then you basically just put the raw king prawns into the flour mixture then into the beaten egg mixture, and then finally into the coconut breadcrumb mixture until they're all coated. It doesn't take long, it's very simple. You can even get the kids involved, and then you line them up in the air fryer, and then you put that in on 165 for six minutes, and then after the six minutes, you just go ahead and flip them, and then put them back in for another six minutes on 165, and that is literally it. It's that simple and as I said we served them with sweet chili sauce and these were so Moorish actually we ate it all in one sitting um, but this would be great at a party I feel like it's a very summery recipe as well just quite impressive because you can really taste the coconut and it just works well with the chili so I would totally recommend this one I really really loved it Next up, I wanted to show you how to make stuffed fajitas in the air fryer. This is a bit of a twist on normal fajitas, which I have actually shown um, how to do that in the air fryer as well before. You basically just chuck everything in and then you're ready to go. But this is slightly different and it was very delicious. So first off, you just want to preheat your air fryer and then with some chicken breasts, you want to cut them kind of in half, but not completely in half because you do want it to stick together. Then put some chopped onions and chopped peppers into that slit in the chicken. Um, and then you wanna make like a fajita mixture. So for that, you've just got some olive oil and then we're adding in some chili powder, some ground cumin and some garlic powder as well. But I'm pretty sure that you could actually buy a fajita seasoning as well with some oil and then rub it onto the chicken that way. Um, but this actually was a very easy seasoning to make. Then put them into the air fryer for six minutes on 170. And then once that's done, you add some cheddar cheese on top. And the recipe, which I will link below, called for putting some toothpicks to kind of like help to hold the cheese in place. But it's pretty much just gonna melt everywhere. So I don't know if you definitely need the toothpicks, but it does kind of like keep it all together. 
Then put that back into the air fryer on 170 for eight minutes. And that is it. This is how it comes out, very delicious. And then we served it with like all of the normal toppings that you would want to have with a fajita. So we've got some sour cream, some guacamole, some salsa. So this tastes like a fajita, but it obviously doesn't have the wrap and it just felt a bit more fancy. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to avoid carbs or if not, you could serve this with rice or something else if you wanted to but yeah it was really really delicious next up i wanted to show you a really nice fake away this is fish and chips in the air fryer and the crispy bit on the fish is actually made out of crushed cornflakes and parmesan cheese and it just really works so first off i'm just preheating the air fryer and then for the chips i'm just making it in the normal way that we normally do just peeling a potato and then cutting it into like chip shaped sizes you can obviously do this however big that you want but we had them quite chunky then just putting that into a bowl with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper I'm just going to give that a shake and that's literally it then I'm just going to stick them into the air fryer so the chip setting on our air fryer has a really cool feature and that is that whenever it's halfway through it will beep and tell you to give it a shake and then you just put it back in so I really like that and then for the fish part of this meal it's quite similar to the first recipe that I shared so you need again three bowls one with flour and salt and pepper one with a beaten egg and then one with the crushed cornflakes and parmesan cheese again I'll link the recipe down below for the exact measurements and you can also put in a little bit of cayenne pepper it called for that in the recipe and then the same thing as normal with your cod just dip it into the flour then into the egg and then into the crushed cornflake and parmesan mix and I should say that these are actually Matt's hands he made this dinner but once you're done coating all of the bits of cod you put that into your air fryer for just 10 minutes and that is it it's definitely a healthier type of fish and chips than your normal takeaway because obviously you're not frying it in oil it is just being air fried um, and yeah it was really delicious really crispy and I would really recommend it and next up I wanted to show you how to make courgette chips or if you live in North America you would say zucchini fries these were really delicious and they're a much healthier option than obviously just french fries and I've tried to make these in the normal oven before and it's definitely better in the air fryer way more crispy so this is everything that you're going to need to make them so first off you just want to cut up your courgette or zucchini into chip shapes or french fry shapes and then we're going to do the same like coating method that I've already shared but this just works so well in the air fryer because I feel like it's perfect for like really crispy food but it's a healthier um, alternative to actually frying food. So we'll need a bowl for flour, a bowl for beaten egg, and then a bowl for the like breaded coating. This recipe called for two different types of breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, but I'm sure you could do just one type of breadcrumb and Parmesan, but I will link the recipe down below. So then once you have your three bowls of everything, you'll just want to start coating the bits of courgette into the flour, into the egg and then finally into the breadcrumb and cheese mix and then once they're all coated you put them into the air fryer on 180 for just 10 minutes I couldn't believe how quickly these were done and they were very delicious Matt was like for something so healthy they're so nice and the recipe that I have linked called for like making a lemon mayonnaise mix um, like to dip it into but we actually had leftover peppercorn sauce in our fridge from another recipe that we made um, and that worked really well as well but if not um, you could make like a lemon mayonnaise to go with it and yeah really delicious I will definitely be making these again and next up I wanted to show you how to make cauliflower buffalo wings and I really wanted to include this in the video because when we made it we were pleasantly surprised how nice this was so this is everything that you're going to need for the recipe but the only thing that you're actually air frying is the cauliflower itself so you cut up the cauliflower 
flour, put it into a bowl, add a little bit of oil and give it a mix around and then put that into the air fryer for about 13 minutes on 160 and that is literally that bit done. Then you just make the sauce for it. So this is actually the more time consuming part of it but it is still quite simple and it really does make it. So first off we're putting in some cottage cheese and some crumbled up blue cheese as well. Give that a mix and then once the cauliflower is done and out of the air fryer you add some melted butter and also some buffalo wing sauce on top of the cauliflower so obviously it's gone from like being quite healthy to being a bit less healthy but this was really delicious and still for a portion of this I think it's 200 calories so still like a healthy veggie option and yeah it was very nice like I ate the whole bowl it was really really delicious and Matt doesn't normally like cauliflower but he actually did like this we also made some breaded scallops and again very simple to make same kind of method that I've been showing throughout this video so again you'll need three bowls one with flour salt and pepper one with egg and then one with panko breadcrumbs and you'll just need to take your scallops and then dip it into all of the bowls and then put that into your air fryer. And then once they're all coated, you put them in on 180 for three to four minutes and then you flip them and then you put them back in for another three to four minutes and that is literally it. And we served this with tartar sauce and lemon as well and I loved them. They were so delicious. Matt said he thinks he prefers scallops just on its own without the like crispy bit on it, but I really enjoyed them. <laughs> And the last recipe that I wanted to share with you is a delicious Italian breaded salad. This is such a good one. I feel like it's the type of salad that I could actually put out on a buffet or a barbecue and then it wouldn't just be left. Like it was so good. I think everyone would actually eat this. So this is everything you're going to need. Um, it's basically like chopped up ciabatta. So we've just chopped it into cubes and then putting that into a bowl with a little bit of olive oil and some garlic paste, or you could just chop up a clove of garlic and put that in. And then there's also some pepper as well. And then you just add that to the cubed up ciabatta, give it a good mix. And that is actually all that you put into the air fryer. So this went in for nine minutes on 160. And while that's cooking, you can go ahead and make the dressing and then the rest of the salad. So we're just mixing up some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some salt and pepper, giving it a good whisk and then adding to a bowl some chopped up tomatoes, some black olive, some fresh parsley and basil as well. And then we're going to add the dressing to that, give that a really good mix. And then once the bread, like the ciabatta from the air fryer is done, you add that in, give that a really good mix and then top it off with some Parmesan cheese. And it's very delicious. It's very like, it's a very bready salad because there's not obviously any lettuce leaves in it, but it's very flavorful and delicious. And of course you can use this method to make just croutons for your salads if you want to, because it is very simple. And yeah, if something a little bit different, we really liked it. But anyway, that is it for this video. Those are all the recipes that I wanted to share with you. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, did, give it a big thumbs up and I would love to know in the comments if there's any recipes that you're going to give a try and yeah thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys